classical cryptography, monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic substitution. Caesar's cipher. Weaknesses. This cipher has two weaknesses, namely the limited key space, and an attack via frequency analysis. The key space contains all possible keys, which could decrypt a message. For the Caesar cipher, you have to think of the number of ways to encrypt the letter A for instance. There are 26 possibilities according to the 26 letters of the alphabet, where one key does not change the letter at all. This number is small and hence these keys can all be simply tried out. Such an attack is called a brute force attack. The most promising attack on the Caesar cipher is the frequency analysis. In every language, some letters are more common than others. The idea is now to look for frequent letters in the cipher text, which usually stand for one of the common letters in the plain text language. The table shows us the distribution of the letters in the English language, and we see that the letters E, A, and T are the most common ones. It's your turn again. Use the weaknesses of the Caesar cipher to decrypt the message by breaking the code. First of all, find the right number of letters by which it was shifted. Note that this time, it is not three letters. If you are having some trouble, click on the hints. You can enter your answer in the box and press send. Of course, you can also skip this exercise. If you want to learn more about the cryptography and other interesting topics, go to embeddedacademy.com.